I'm coming for you. No one is safe. Hey, I'm Ben. I'm a huge fly fisherman. Before we jump into this, I want to tell you about the sponsor for today's video. It's redsflies.com, where you can go to get quality flies for 15% off using code HUGE. Reds Flies is an online fly store where you can get quality flies at an affordable price. I've been using Reds Flies for the last couple of months and they're catching a lot of fish and they're not falling apart. It's good stuff for cheap. They have all the patterns you need, nymphs, dries, eggs if you're into that. They got all the Euro stuff, like Pertagons and Frenchies. They got big articulated streamers that are tied well. All of the flies from redsflies.com are tied right here in the United States, so let's show them some love. Again, you can get great flies at a great price from redsflies.com using code HUGE for 15% off. All right, let's get to the video. Welcome back to another episode of Huge Fly Fisherman. I'm glad you could make it today. If you're watching this, you're probably a fly fisherman. And I'm telling you right now that I'm gonna make fun of you in this video. That's what I do. I make fun of fly fishing. So if you're gonna get upset because I'm teasing you, just go to my website and file a complaint and buy a shirt or something while you're there. Now in this video, I'm gonna give you the hits here on YouTube, but the deep cuts are on my other channel. If you want the full Monty, you can get it over there. So you read the title. Today's video is about fly fishing stereotypes. We'll go over some of the people that you meet if you're a huge fly fisherman. Which one are you? Let's start with some low hanging fruit. The streamer junkie. The streamer junkie is easy to identify. Flat bill, buff with a skull or clown face, white sunnies, maybe a chin strap beard, drives a truck with Calvin peeing on something. Streamer junkie says things like sick or bra a lot, or maybe I only fish for predators. Well, guess what, pal? A bluegill is a predator. Listen, if you refer to yourself as a streamer junkie, what I'm hearing is that you don't know how to get a good drift with dries or nymphs. You're not fooling me. If I were to say something positive, Positive about streamer junkies, they usually have a nice fly box that I'd love to pilfer. All right, next fly fishing stereotype, the Euro Nympher. Again, this is kind of a slam dunk. Euro Nymphers are the dorkiest dorks that ever dorked. They count fish with their clicker. They use tippet in half sizes. Like, what the hell is that? A lot of Euro Nymphers are into competition, which is a whole discussion in itself. Let's just say that I disagree with it. Yes, Euro dudes will probably catch more fish than me every time if we went head to head, but I'll actually get to use my fly line and cast more than 12 feet. All right, next one, the big fish guy. That's their whole thing. I catch big fish. Big fish guy is obviously compensating for something. It could be anything. I don't want to grossly generalize it. Big fish guy is going to tell you about all the hours he spent grinding for that big fish and perfecting a specific technique, but he's not going to tell you that 95% of catching a big fish is location and timing. That's your pro tip for today. Side note, big fish guy only fishes with nymphs and streamers, not much else. Also, he catches bigger fish than me. Cool. All right, next fly fishing stereotype is the dry fly guy, the purist. For dry fly guy, fly fishing is an art. It's not a sport or a hobby. He casts with his pinky out and he might talk with a fake British accent. Dry fly guy doesn't own waders. He uses words like cat gut, mucilin, and split cane. After dry fly guy catches a fish, he doesn't drink a beer. He has a pool from his flask of scotch or whiskey, and that's whiskey without an E. Dry fly guy uses his full name. He's not Barry, he's Bartholomew. Okay. Okay, next one, the spay guy. Now, I'm not talking about them dirty skagit lines. I'm talking dry lines only, skated muddlers with no hook, that kind of thing. In their view, the spay guys have achieved fly fishing enlightenment and are on a higher plane than everyone else. And to be honest, it's just not worth explaining it to you because you wouldn't understand anyway. In the trout fishing world, the spay guy insists on using a trout spay rod when it's not the best tool for the job. And let me just take a moment here to say that I'm glad Swift 
switch rods aren't much of a thing anymore. Like, here's a rod that can do a few different things, but it doesn't do anything well. That'll be $700, please. The next one is the permit guy. Permit guy is the saltwater version of the spay guy. He just likes warmer weather. Permit guy is all about feeding the fish, and he won't explain how to do that because, again, you just wouldn't get it. Permit guy is trying to get inside that fish's head. He's mad at those fish. Blown shots keep him up at night, and you can bet that you are not allowed to look in permit guy's fly box. Okay, the next stereotype is the fly tire. The fly tire ties a lot of flies and ties them well, but he doesn't really fish that much. He has a side business selling his patterns, but he depends on other people to test his flies because he doesn't fish. Or maybe he fishes a little, and when he does, it ain't pretty. I know guys like this. Tying is their thing. Fishing, not so much. Does Tim Flagler actually fish? Someone let me know. The next fly fishing stereotype is the blue line guy. If you don't know what blue lining is, it's fishing small creeks, the little blue lines on the map. Blue line guy is indigenous to Western North Carolina, WNC if you wanna sound cool, and Estes Park, Colorado, Testes Park if you wanna sound cool. Blue line guy is a product of his environment. He lives near a bunch of small creeks, so that's what he does. He also catches small fish because that's what lives there. He uses a bow and arrow cast a lot when there are no bushes anywhere around him, but his buddy happens to be behind him with a camera. Blue line guy is usually younger. Bushwhacking for miles and scrambling over boulders is not an old guy's game. There are easier ways to catch four inch brook trout. All right, next fly fishing stereotype is Instagram guy. Hey, I don't wanna talk about Instagram guy either, but we have to, I'm sorry. Instagram guy is in it for the clout. He doesn't care about fly fishing. Fly fishing is the vehicle. He could have chosen mountain biking, cooking, playing in a band, but he has no skill or talent, so he chose fly fishing because he thinks he can fake his way right in. When Instagram guy catches a fish, it's gonna be a while. He's gotta do the whole photo shoot thing. Both sides of the fish, tea kettle, parrot, macros, gotta check all that stuff off the list. Then he has to change his outfit and do it all over again. Then he has his girlfriend pose with the fish and does it all over again. If you're thinking, man, that poor fish, you're right. After the photo shoot, he's gotta come up with a song lyric or an inspirational story for his Instagram post. It's a lot of work. Luckily, his hashtag wall of text is ready to be copy pasted so he doesn't have to type all that out every time. Those tags are important. You gotta tag all those companies that don't know and definitely don't care who you are so you can give them free advertising. Hashtag brown trout, hashtag crest toothpaste. All right, next one is the gear guy. We've all seen gear guy, right? He's got all the stuff. So much stuff he can hardly walk or cast. He's got a full run of tippet and mono and fluoro, spare spools for his reel, stomach pump, bug stain, maybe an extra rod. His pockets are bulging and his backpack weighs 40 pounds. He's got 34 fly boxes, three kinds of floating, nippers, clippers, scissors, cutters, and a couple knives. He's got a folding chair and a coffee maker. And there is no doubt that this dude has a leader straightener hanging somewhere. Gear guy always has the latest and greatest. New rods every year, stacks of fly lines he's never used, and he's pre-ordered a 2025 Toyota Tundra. It's not a bad idea to keep a gear guy in your crew, though, in case you need something. All right, next up is the third year guy. He's been fly fishing for three years. He's learned a lot. He's catching fish, and now he's God's gift to fly fishing. Third year guy is on the cusp of greatness. He's ready to be a guide. He's gonna get a boat. Third year guy is trying to find his identity. Is he gonna be a streamer junkie, a Euro dork? Maybe he'll be a spay guy. While he figures all that out, he'll He'll definitely be an Instagram guy, and he's already a gear guy, that's for sure. All right, the next fly fishing stereotype is the destination guy, AKA Richard from Houston, who's in the oil business, also known as the client, because they only fish with guides. This guy fishes once or twice a year, and it's always at a destination fishery. He started off trout fishing in Colorado, where he skis, then moved on to Montana and South America. His golf buddies took him to the Bahamas for bonefish, and next he's going to the Seychelles. Wood destination nation guy fish for bass in the pond down the street? No, because that's beneath him. Also, he doesn't know how to tie a clinch knot. And that's the most important thing you need to know about Destination Guy. He fishes in really cool places, but he's awful at it. He can't cast the fly out of the boat. 
cool loafers though. All right, I got one more for you. The last fly fishing stereotype for today is the real deal guy. You've never heard real deal guy's name. He doesn't post on social media. He's out there quietly killing it. He's a mad scientist. He's light years ahead of everyone else. Real deal guy doesn't clip the tag ends of his knots. Real deal guy goes fishing with just one fly. He can cast a two weight 150 feet. Real deal guy goes carp fishing and catches a 50 inch muskie. I know real deal guy. His name's Willie. He's the fishiest guy I know. Willie doesn't give a <laughs> He's just there to fish and make sandwiches for everyone and then catch more fish. Well, I think that's gonna do it. That was a fun one. Thanks for watching. If I missed any stereotypes, let me know in the comments or watch this video on my other channel because I probably covered it there. I hope you were able to have a little fun with me today and not get too butthurt about being a streamer junkie. I'll be back as soon as I can with another huge fly fisherman video for you. Until then, wet your hands if you're going to touch fish and stay huge. I think I'm just like a more developed version of the third year fly fisherman. 30th year fly fisherman, but still full of s***.